so clumsy. It's bloody ridiculous. You intend to chuck the job, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Well, it's... it's a bit complicated. Yes, I thought it would be. And don't be so aggressive, Dad. It's not very helpful. In an odd way, this Dodgson business focused on my field. I wondered if you knew him when I read about the trial. You know, there are 7,000 of us working at GCHQ. It's an industry. Ordinary. Accepted. I didn't even know Dodgson by sight. The net result is the business of informing on one another has now become respectable. All of us are encouraged to report anything that strikes us odd about our colleagues. I mean, can you imagine what it's like to be at the mercy of a secret report you know, from someone you're what, living with or working with? Is that what's happening, Buck? Someone informed on you? You're being asked to resign? No way. I'm not being judged. It's the other way around. But then there are the lies. They start the very first day. Nobody's what they seem. Nothing is what it's made out to be. And you never realize till later, years later in my case, that from the very first day, the truth recedes. Don't forget, what they do in that department is necessary. That's a fatal argument, Dad. It's common sense. What you need is a posting or a holiday. Take one or the other, but for God's sake, don't throw away six years of seniority. God, there's more to life. Listen, you, you bloody well listen to me. When I came out after 12 years, it was no joke making a living. And it's taken me over 20 years since then to find my way. And it's still very dodgy. Cleverer men than me go bankrupt every day. Times are bad and getting worse. Let's face it, you, you, you're not a computer man or an engineer or a doctor. You're a linguist. Who needs them? You can have an argument. I shouldn't be surprised. Tea?